Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. We're back on, uh, well, we're actually back on, <laughs> I keep saying we're back, but we're not back. This is a new game. A lot of you guys really want me to play this game. Uh, because I did not only a community tab post YouTube poll, uh, I also did a Discord ping or voting thing, and it's literally un ununimous, uh, I, can't, I can't even say the word. Uh, like, it was basically, everybody wanted this game to be, be played in, in a, and it was like a landslide. It was a clan win for yes, play this freaking game. Um, today we're gonna be doing something. We're not gonna go straight to battleships actually. I just want we're gonna do something different in a way. We're gonna try to do a challenge. In this challenge, if you guys don't know, in the 1920s there was not there was known as the Washington Naval Treaty, and in as I as stated in the Washington Naval Treaty, there was a lot of like requirements requirements uh, restrictions that certain uh, ships should have and certain ships should not now ones that was really restrictive is the heavy cruisers or the, any well just any type of cruiser the treaty says that uh, basically they were some they the British were proposed some limits on their on in future cruiser development which means that the limit proposed was that there there should be only a 10,000 ton maximum displacement and the, and the highest main for its main caliber guns should be eight inch caliber guns basically um that's the main specs in terms of that so this all so this was a very it's a very especially when trying to go under this treaty it caused a lot of people to not be found like the only people who, the only nations were actually following this treaty was the british and the united states if i remember everybody else just decided, decided to say yeah let's let's put up make our cruisers and put them in um and hide them and pretend that we don't um uh, we're not using them <laughs> without further ado let's get right on it The goal here is that the ship must remain at 10 um, displacement. Uh, we might want to do with the heavy cruiser, the first heavy cruiser one. Um, that looks a little bit nice. Uh, displacement, should, we're just trying to see if we can go as low as possible. So 11,000, but we just got to make sure we just stay behind the 10,000. 10, we're going to go for 30 knots, basically. Uh, do this armor so we're good to go on that uh, uh radar greater accuracy we might want to need that radio we don't need radio because we're not communicating with other I mean at least if I'm mistaken it's just a it's just a communication so this is for like when you have multiple ships at once but we're gonna be 1v1 basically uh sonar we probably want sonar actually so we can get the earliest uh, range finder definitely there we go now we get to the main tower uh this can be really difficult to make the trying to do the restrictions here uh, let's put it right there secondary tower I'm trying to go with the light going as light as possible by light I don't know if this is gonna work but we'll figure things out once we get to it Okay, there we go. 
Let's get this, this, uh, what's the smallest funnel? This is the smallest funnel. There we go. Um. <laughs> okay, the main goal is that they can only have 8-inch guns. Uh, ah, this is gonna be, okay, we can't do that. We gotta do, d uh, double turrets. Okay. Double turrets, there we go. I don't want to, like, go overboard on stuff like this, so, secondaries. Let's get some secondaries right here. Probably, this is probably the best position for them. There we go. Or maybe we want to go double. Yeah, let's go a little bit double because, just to save some light. Just to be a little bit lighter. Um... Third bat, uh... Do we want some of those batteries? Yep, we probably do. Uh, dual or... So it's just a lot of dual purposed. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure this is going to be a good... This is probably going to turn into a very bad idea. But who knows. Uh, you know what? Since we have it, let's do one in there. Alright. Torpedoes. I kind of want torpedoes to be for safe. The reasons. Uh, one... Underwater. Oh, so you can put it underwater. Let's go with quadruple. Oxygen. Uh, that's actually good. Let's do oxygen torpedoes. I want to, uh, TNT, uh, let's go to TNT because that lowers that. Shaft. No, we don't want that. Uh, turbine engines go to diesel because we can go lighter. We gotta be as light as we can because we gotta get as much as we can for armor and stuff. So right now, this is our setup for right now. Uh, it's a nice mixture. There's good secondaries. I want to have a good amount of secondaries, but yet it's very difficult to try to make a cruiser out of this, and, like a heavy cruiser out of this, and try to maintain the Washington Naval Treaty. All right, so I have a list, a little bit of everything here. This is gonna be very, very difficult isn't it uh there we go T exactly ten thousand okay so then so i think this is gonna be our ship now to name this ship i'm going to name the the U the youngstown class because it's ne it's a city nearby my area it's nice put nice little city so youngstown class uh it's a heavy cruiser not expecting to do really well, but we don't know who we're up against in terms of the Japanese Navy. This is the the Japanese Navy does like their torpedoes, so we do not know what's going to happen. So I like the setup despite the limit. We only have ten thousand ton exactly. Uh, it's, it's very expensive. Don't get me wrong; it's kind of an expensive unit, but this is what we're going to have to do. Without further ado, let's get right on it. So this is the Youngstown class. It basically looks like a makeshift version of the Pensacola or uh, New Orleans. It's like, the, it's like a lower grade version of the Pensacola class. Maybe Northampton. I'm letting AI... Another thing is I'm letting AI control my ship. So I have no influence whatsoever. So this could get really interesting, if or pretty bad. So right now we're gonna do the n the Washington Naval Treaty Challenge, I guess you may call it, to where we must design our cruisers to fit in within the Washington Naval Treaty. And is, this is exactly 10,000 tons of has eight-inch batteries as its main caliber, as its highest caliber, and has a good mixture of secondaries and and unlike some th cases, we have torpedoes. So, we'll see what happens. Enemy vessel sighted. Oh, dear. He has a lot of freaking... Oh, my God. How we're going to face this guy, I don't know. He has definitely has the gun's advantage in terms of main battery. We don't know what types of batteries they are until we identify the vessel. All we know is it is a heavy cruiser. But we don't know what its weapon specs are. He doesn't have torpedoes, and this is a Japanese cruiser. What is this? So the problem is, we're basically seeing... The challenge is that we can take out a ship of our, of our class, or of our type, if the enemy is or is not following the Washington Naval Treaty. Most likely, 
or not because this is the Japanese and this is the AI and the AI is not that smart in terms of generating ships they are not following the Washington Naval Treaty so that brings in more of the challenge if we can take on the heavy cruiser with our treaty cruiser then I it would be classified as a, a success on we're almost in, come on yes we're in range we're in range we're turning our turrets fire back at the enemy it's a heavy cruiser, maybe? <gasps> I guess maybe no. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a battleship, probably. Hey, if oh, if Battle Station Midway, they mistakenly thought a Tone A class cruiser was a battleship, then we can uh, safely assume this could be a battleship. So who knows? Uh, fire! Fire has been abroad. Has been a. Has been on. We are on fire. Take it out. We're ablaze. Oh no. That's not good. Lucky shot. Where are our torpedoes? Oh, they're right over there! I think. Maybe. I don't know. They detect torpedoes, but I don't know. I can't see my own torpedoes. So this is the Mini... Mini Nami Kuma. It has 8-inch batteries. I don't know how... Uh, oh yeah. 14,000 displacement. Yikes! We are doomed. Bulkheads are minimum. Bulkheads are at maximum for us. That's scary. They have four inch and two inch. We have the secondary advantage, so we have a, a mixture of five inch and three inch in a way. So we better have the we have the better damage for secondaries, I guess you can say. And we also have torpedoes. The enemy, surprisingly, as the Japanese, they don't have any torpedoes. Which is very odd for the Japanese. Yes, they're in range of the 5 inch. So we can do some more hits, hopefully. So far, we're doing alright. I guess, maybe, I don't know. We're still fine. Our armor's holding up. As for the Japanese, we're not striking any hits. This is embarrassing for the Americans. Like, the they're going all over the place. These guys are being accurate with their batteries. What's wrong? I thought we had the better guns. What gives? We're America, damn it. <laughs> In terms of damage now, the Youngstown has been hit structurally by and lost 1%. While we've done literally nothing to this cruiser. What is going on here? Okay, the torpedoes are useless. I realize that now. The torpedoes is kind of useless against cruisers, so I don't think the, there's no point of using cruisers anymore. I mean, torpedoes on them. Except maybe for battleships. Battleships is the only probably good reason to have torpedoes, but... Because they're slower. We did. We, are we now have the damage advantage by 1% now. It was 2 percentage on structure damage. Okay, we're actually surprisingly withstanding. They're getting their armor is getting mo more damage. We gotta aim for the freaking superstructure. Honestly, I wish we could pinpoint where we want to hit. Usually, the superstructure has the most damage. I mean, the most is the weakest, so we can aim for our secondaries to go for that. Our three-inch guns are now firing. Uh, we only have two of them, so it doesn't make any sense. We got a good penetration hit on the mi mini. Con I can't even say this mate name. Mini Namikoma. Mini Nami Koma. Minami Koma. Min Min Minami Koma. That's how you say Minami Koma. Minami Koma. Okay, the Minami Koma. <laughs> I keep saying Minami Koma. Uh, okay. Okay, I like these. I like this. I like it. We're doing all right. All right. So far, so good. We're doing some damage. We have a little bit of structural damage out of. Uh, lead over the Min Minami Koma. Uh, I'm just surprised that in this instance the Japanese does not have the torpedoes that I was expecting the enemy should have but but no they kind of want I guess they focused more of their displacement on the main batteries because it has it has a it has <gasps> we took out a battery I think did we 
Yes! Oh, that was a lucky hit! Oh, we took out, we blew out a magazine! There goes a turret! Oh! That's good! She's taking on water! How do we do that? Did we get a successful torpedo hit? She's slowing down. She's going... Oh, come on, keep firing. Come on, Youngstown, you can do this. Make America proud. Oh, she's at 25. 22. She's going down. Oh, please, please, this will be a great video if we can do this. For, at the start of the... Oh. Uh, this is going to be amazing. Oh. Uh, 91% damage. Like, 91 structure damage, and that's pretty much it. And... Yes! We won! The challenge is completed for the Americans! Wow. We did it. I'm amazed that we were able to do that. I think what really got us was taking out the magazine turret. Like, magazines on one of its turrets. And that's the huge... Pr oh, no, no, I don't, I don't mean to delete that. No, no, no. Ah, oh, fudge. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Guys, If you guys do, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. And I should see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.